damn it, like, my butt's not being comfortable right now. Somebody want to give me theirs? Give me your butt. <laughs> Monday Night Raw, oh my gosh, like, I don't even know what I do in these parts right here, so let's just get into the review, let's, let's do it. Raw starts with Roman Reigns who comes out, and oh my god, he has a microphone, everybody, we all know, okay? Yeah, I killed that joke so many times, and I'll kill it again, because he's not very good on the mic, you know? He's talking about Seth Rollins, he's like, you know what, Seth is a mate, is, is good in the ring, but that's not the only thing he's good at. Don't lie, you know what came to mind when he said that, don't lie, you know, you know. We all do. Then he goes on, he's like, I'm gonna be champion. And Seth Rollins comes out, he's like, ha ha ha, bitch please. So Seth is on his way down to the ring to show Roman Reigns who the man is. And then, oh my god, the authority comes out, whoa. And they're like, ha, you guys are gonna have a match for the championship, obviously, but it's not gonna be tonight. Oh, you know, getting the hopes up. So they set up a match for the main event, you know, the five tag team Survivor Series tradition, whatever, with Seth and Roman as your team captains. Seth is a captain. Aye aye, captain. More like, hey hey, captain. Yeah, looking good. He would he would make me walk the plank, I think. <laughs> but I love you, Seth. Then we got Kevin out. He had two matches tonight. Oh, I just realized that. Oh my god, okay. Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler. They have a really good match. Um, Tyler Breeze comes out again. This freaking Fruit Loop, he's so, ah, what is wrong with him? I don't know. Do you know? Tell me. Anyways, he, he comes down and he's got a stupid motherfucking selfie stick and shit. Fuck selfie sticks. Why'd you go stick that somewhere? Selfie. Damn it, that didn't make sense. Of course, he inter he interferes, he distracts uh, Ziggler, and Kevin Owens gets a win. Like, oh my god, WWE, you're so not predictable. Sarcasm. That was sarcasm. You're very predictable. Like, you're. I know what you're. I know what you're planning. Like, I, and I really like Kevin Owens' suplex. I think that he should teach Brock a thing or two. And this is the time Angie will sit here and wait for all the Brock Lesnar fans to tell her how stupid and wrong she is because she doesn't like Brock Lesnar and how she doesn't know anything about wrestling and how she should just love him because he's a beast and blah 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 all that other peasant stuff that they say. Then we got Brie Bella and Becky freaking having this verbal cat fight backstage. It went like this. Meow. 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 Yeah. Miz versus Cesaro, and freaking Cesaro's like all showing off tonight. Like, I already love you. Now you're just, now you're just messing with my heart. Miz goes a swinging, and then he taps to the sharpshooter. Cesaro, oh Cesaro, I want to see you tomorrow. Cause you take away the sorrow that's in wrestling today. Oh my god, then we get this fucking promo with the Wyatt family. Well, Bray Wyatt, I mean, the rest just kind of come out and, you know, stand there. Bray Wyatt comes out and he's ha he cuts his promo on why he took The Undertaker and Kane, basically. And he's talking about, I don't want their bodies. Yeah, well, yeah, they're kind of old me either. He's talking about, I don't want their bodies. I want their souls. He wants their souls. I just want you and your beautiful soul. And all the effects in the arena are, like, on point and shit. And, you know, Bray's like, I summon the thunder and the lightning. And it's all, like, ah, and scary. And it's like, Halloween. It's over! Stop scaring me. Uh, I got goosebumps. This promo was really good. I was really entertained. Like, this this is really good. Then we got boring and boring versus boring and boring. This match was, oh my god, you guessed it. Boring. More stupid Mexi America, Mex America. Like, I could have came up with a better name for it than you guys. Just saying. I, like, um, Americo. Um, I can come up with something better, just not right now, apparently. Del Rio versus R-Truth. Oh my god, like, R-Truth is so not gonna job, right? Oh, he's so not gonna job. <gasps> just kidding, he totally jobs his shit. Alberto Del Rio destroys him. Then we got this backstage segment with, um, The New Day and Seth Rollins, and they're like, please, Seth, let us be on your team. And, uh, I guess Xavier Woods is back, and, uh, so they're on team, and then, oh my god, you guys, Seth danced for this long, okay? It was about five seconds, but he did it, and it was so cute. You and uh, oh, <laughs> Team Rollins, Team Rollins, Team Rollins, Team Rollins. 
Divas Fatal 4 Way match for the number one contender spot to face Charlotte at Survivor Series. And it is Sasha Banks versus Paige versus Becky versus Brie Bella. Boom. Paige just kind of chills in the corner for the first like few minutes of the match. And I mean, basically, for this entire match, it was Sasha versus Becky because they were the only ones wrestling. Paige and Brie just kind of disappeared for a while. They would come back every once in a while, you know, throw a punch and then get knocked out for the rest of the show. So it was basically just Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch, which I was okay with because they were really fucking good. Like, they put on a really good show. There was this cool four-way thing from the top rope and everyone was hurt. Really nice backbreaker by Sasha Banks, and then she gets uh, Becky locked into her bank statement, but then Paige comes and she disposes of Sasha, and then she rampages Becky and Paige wins. Everybody knew she was gonna win. And Charlotte's all sassy backstage, like, I am not just here because of my daddy. Yeah, you are. And for our main event, we have Team Rollins, which is the New Day, Seth and uh, Kevin Owens, versus Team Roman Reigns, which is Roman Reigns and oh my god, all these question marks. Who, who's, who's his partners? The Usos come back. Why don't you just bring back Santino and Hornswoggle while you're at it, WWE? Oh, great golly. What's funny about that is if they actually did bring them back, all of a sudden, everyone would be fans of them and I would be getting criticized because I wouldn't be. <gasps> bandwagon motherfuckers peasants and then the other two are Ryback and Dean Ambrose obviously so right off the bat unicorn boy is eliminated then we got the Usos taking the spotlight like people are actually happy to see them back or something um excuse you stop tagging each other in and tag Dean in because we want to see Dean not your freaking stupid mother freaking joke self I just kept that so PG right there because I don't know I'm in an, I'm in an innocent mood tonight <laughs> So then Kofi's eliminated, and then finally the Usos are gone. Big E, then Ryback. Then we're down to a 2v2, everyone. Ah! Uh, Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. And oh my god, we get Dean and Seth just tearing it up in the ring together. I love these two. De like, oh my god, you guys are so amazing. And Dean's motherfucking running bulldog. <sighs> this is my heart, Dean, and I'm giving it to you. So Dean and Kevin are going at it, and Seth comes flying in, and oh, boom! He freaking kicks Kevin in the head. Great, Seth, that was your teammate. So Kevin Owens is eliminated, then it is down to a 2v1. Those two being Seth's ex motherfucking besties. <gasps> so of course we get the you sold out chance, and Seth takes off. He tries to run. He doesn't get very far, but it was really cute watching him try. <laughs> it gets to the point where Seth is just done. He doesn't care. He pulls out a chair and he gets himself disqualified. And then after taking a Superman punch from Roman Reigns, uh, Seth is out. He's gone. And that was the end of Raw, you guys. This was an amazing fucking night. This was a really, really good Monday Night Raw. I think it was absolutely amazing. I am so glad we got to see Dean Ambrose in the ring with Seth Rollins again in the main event. And he actually got to be it, like a big part of it. Overall, I just think it was a really good show. Um, I like that there was wasn't too many like filler matches, you know? Everything tonight had a purpose. There wasn't just these random ass matches that are thrown together because, oh my god, we got 10 minutes to beat. Let's throw these faggots out there. It wasn't like that. Everything had a meaning, everything had a purpose. All the matches were good, long, and entertaining, and like it was just, it was really good. I like this. This is a really good show. So thank you so much for watching. All my links will be in the description. And don't forget, elegance is a key. Don't be a peasant.